Hey guys, Noek. Recently read uh, Death of the Inhumans uh, number five, which is the conclusion, and yeah, my overall thoughts on this whole event. Um, well, not event, miniseries, whatever. <sighs> it ignores continuity. There was plenty of plot holes, and it was a letdown because they killed the Inhumans. Well, they kind of did, kind of didn't. A bunch of Inhumans died, but they not really any of the royal family did. It was a couple of named ones died off screen, panel, screen, whatever, out of comic, and then Maximus and Triton. Both of these were also very early on, so it really brings into question, like, what was the point of this? Now, Donny Cates is not a bad writer. Thanos Rising was great, and... No, no, I don't think... Wait, no, not Thanos Rising. Maybe he did... I'd have to go back. Uh, his Thanos book was great, and... I'm excited for the Guardians. The guy's good, but this was definitely not well thought out. Because, as I said, there was plot holes there that... Wait, wait, what? what? Wait, they were able to... What? Um, and then just continuity just is just ignored just to fit the narrative. And then, as I said, this letdown of not really being death of the Inhumans. And I'm an Inhuman fan. So, I could see... If I was in control of this more, I would have two ways of doing this. The first way is, so the entire royal family gets killed at the end, they go to try to free them, but it's all a trap, and they get slaughtered, their Kree are making more of these boxes, but then it's revealed, however, this is not happening in the main 616 continuity, the main Marvel Universe, this is happening somewhere else. And now the Kree, with their boxes, are going to go around the multiverse and start really picking in humans off like even the new Kree Emperor his bodyguards they're not gonna have an accuser corpse they're gonna have a Black Bolt corpse um, but like Black Bolt pretty much it's gonna be a slit across the throat and so each of them have like one scream that essentially if they use it it's it's a kamikaze basically and but because how I mentioned the out of continuity things like in our that maybe that's why they didn't use Primagen Prime again or I forget what it's how it's pronounced or Ronan having the black vortex so they the Kree then like with their Vox super inhumans are now even more powerful they have different class is but then on our six one six universe when it finally does for them to come back then you have these people with also these beyond godlike powers, a quantity versus quality thing. So you would still have Inhumans dying if they wanted to come back from that, but it could actually feel, you know, these characters could die and it's just not a quick, they're dead, is that it? Just one big massacre at the beginning and then leading to a mystery, which it's not even like a mystery. We knew the Kree were doing it. And then, who was Vox? Did anyone care? So, yeah, I would instead make it in... That one, long story short, in another universe, but that other universe, one will eventually come to the 616. My other way I think they could have done it is... This is a... Essentially, a passing in age. The universal humans are going to be really... And the royal family, or the adults of the royal family, are going to be the only ones who would be killed. Essentially, the Universals gets, are getting in the middle of attack. The royal family have to go out and save them. Um, not enough time to really investigate, get help or from other people in the Marvel Universe. Or other heroes from Earth, and then that's why. And essentially, their only way to stop this huge invasion by the Kree is to put themselves on the front line. So, they attack, they stop this faction of the Kree, they have their Voxes as well. Essentially, it's the same, but 
all members of the royal family are dead. But one of the things that are this really shows is supposed to show is there are other inhumans out there who were who would uh pa who could uh take up like their wills, the mantles of their positions. So the House of Aegon, as we know, their centers of the leaders and the humans is done, but those in out are ready to take it up. And in fact, I'd make like the last page is Arua. He goes to the moon because no one has seen any of the royal family for a bit. He enters the throne room and a hologram of Medusa and Black Bull go up, show up. Medusa starts speaking on how, if you're seeing this, we are both gone, how they love him, and he will have such a hard time being king. So, and yeah, basically, long story short, the royal family dies and the new generation picks up. Yeah, I feel like when you make one of these death of, you have to think, what is this leading to? Who's going to be involved? Like, both of these things, um, the first one, my first idea, it kind of really leads to the boxes are, or the, this Kree have a power to being a threat to uh, pretty much a bunch of cosmic. And this would have been perfect for then his guardians if they had something like this. But if he was, oh, no, it's all about cleaning house. I just wanted it contained in this. Okay, but you have to have some stakes. Like, you might say, well, we wanted it just Black Bolt and his family, but they're a royal family. If you want them being a royal family, you need, royalty need people to rule over. Or, so what was the point? Why didn't he also kill members of the royal family? If it was just to take out some of the new humans. See, those are my ideas. What do you think? Do you think they, are you happy with this? Or do you think one of these? Or did you have an idea of yourself how you think it would go? Let me know and until next time.